Welcome to week one. This week we are exploring the changing role of fossil fuels, of coal, oil and gas in a carbon constrained world. The problem of anthropogenic, that is to say human-made climate change, has arisen mainly because of the combustion of fossil fuels since the Industrial Revolution. Our growing use of fossil energy for electricity, heating and transportation was and is in many cases still important to drive economic growth and prosperity in both the global north and south. But it has also had a number of negative consequences, the worst of which is the production of carbon dioxide and as a consequence the carbon loading of the atmosphere. This in turn is responsible for anthropogenic climate change. Climate change describes the increases in average global surface temperatures and relatedly the changes in weather patterns over longer periods of time. It is clear that humanity will have to address its continued heavy reliance on fossil fuels if human-made climate change is to be effectively dealt with. In the absence of widely applied technological solutions such as carbon capture and storage, we will have to reduce our use of fossil fuels. This means first and foremost coal as the most emissions intensive. Natural gas burns more cleanly than coal and oil and is often seen as a necessary transition fuel. At the same time, however, we will also have to invest heavily in low-carbon renewable energy sources. The unburnable carbon argument states that the majority of fossil fuels currently in the ground will have to remain there if the world is to stay within the carbon budget and keep the rise in global average surface temperatures to below 2 degrees Celsius. That's the upper target accepted by all parties to the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. We cannot currently meet this target as we continue to be locked into a fossil fuel and high carbon pathway. There is a lot of fossil fuel based energy infrastructure out there and despite the shift to renewables currently underway, new coal fired power plants are still being built. Countries like India intend to use their abundant domestic coal reserves to meet a rapidly growing need for electricity. So what is the solution to this problem? Let's see what our experts think of the role of fossil fuels moving forward.